you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a complete review on the Friends and Revolution Taxi Palette. So this is what it looks like. It retails for £20. It was on offer for £14 on Beauty Bay but it's sold out at the moment but I will leave a link down below in case it just come back into stock. It's £18 currently on Revolution and I think it's full price on super drug but it's on three for two which is what I did. I got this one, I got the lobster one and I also got a different palette because I already had bought that one by that point. But if you are interested, like I said, it is typically £20. I have done a full review on the lobster palette. Ooh, that was a bit loud. And the lobster palette, this one was up on... What day are we on now? I think it was up like Monday. No, Tuesday night it was up because Monday was my Patreon video. So this is what the lobster one looks like. And then I've also done a full review and tutorial of the open the door one. So this is just what she looks like. I'll leave the full kind of tutorial and everything for this and the lobster palette link down below for you to check out. I also tried out when I reviewed this one, I also tried the big coffee face palette as well. So yeah, I'll leave all that link down below as well for you to check out. But let's see what this one is like. So this is the taxi one. And to be honest with you, when I saw this on the website, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. But this is what what it looks like and then obviously you can see in the packaging it's got like the little taxis on it and then when you open it up it is quite similar packaging to the open the door one it's kind of got a bit of like that really thick cardboard with a bit of foam in the middle I can get it out so this is what it looks like so the taxi itself is raised I don't know if you can see see that and then this is what she looks like. I'm not gonna lie, the pictures online, on the Instagram and everything, do not do this justice. This palette is beautiful. So this is what she looks like. Look at them neutrals, them shimmers, oh, the cool toned ones, that little pop of blue. This is actually beautiful and I'm so excited. I'm definitely 100% gonna be using this shade up here, <laughs> which is 236 because it is just Gorgeous. There is a lot of shimmers in this, but I think there's a lot that they can do with the mattes in order to use all them shimmers as well. I think they've got a good combination of mattes to kind of cancel out the fact that there's actually loads of shimmers in this palette. I don't know if you can see there. So it's got like the cardboard, then like this kind of really, really thick, sturdy like form, and then the cardboard again. If you are new here by the way, I am Lucy Simpson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me to know what kind of videos you really like to watch and what videos to do more in the future and whether to keep buying all these new releases for you as well. And please go into my huge, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for like a really, really exciting email to come through with my Christmas intro so I keep checking my phone. Anyway, please, please, please go into my huge giveaway for hitting us um, 10,000 subscribers. And if you can, please check out my Patreon as well. There's 18 of us now and I'm going to be doing a giveaway for us hitting 18. And I'm also going to do a giveaway when we hit 20. So we just need two more patrons and I can do two giveaways for exclusively for my Patreon group as well. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. We'll do some swatches and then we'll try this bad boy out. So this is what the first two rows of the eyeshadow palette looks like. These shimmers are literally buttery soft. Like I know it keeps going out of focus and it's actually driving me insane. But these shimmers are just, like your finger just melts in the palette. Especially when it comes to that 236 shade, which is this one. I think we're going to go for something grungy with this in the middle because, oh. So this is what the third row looks like. This row is just a literal full row of shimmers and it is beautiful. This one here, which is 2004, is a very similar texture to that 236 shade. Really, really soft and kind of squishy in the pan and absolutely stunning. And then this is what the last row looks like. So it has two mattes within this one and then the rest are shimmers. That blue is absolutely beautiful. I feel like I need to have that in my look somehow. Let's see what we come up with. So as always, I'm gonna start with my P. Louise base, which I'm actually, look at that, I'm starting to run out of it. It's from doing all these tutorials, which I'm just buzzing about. <laughs> Cause it means I can move on to my bigger one. This is obviously like the first ever packaging that she brought out. As always, I tap this all over my lid. And then I just use a fluffy brush from Peaches and Cream. Any kind of fluffy brush will do just to blend this out. Please ignore all these spots on my face. This is uni stress. So let's just ignore that that's 
even going on, today I handed in my treatment tape for uni, so I handed in my assignment and apparently tomorrow I'm getting my exam results back, so stressed to the maximum, to the maximum. So I'm going to take a Spectrum A07 brush, it's like a little fat stubby brush, and I'm going to go in with the shade Salem, which is just this dark brown one here, and I'm literally just kind of packing this into my crease just quite messily and I'm going to do this all the way around I think I want to try and do a bit more of a rounded eye today I feel like I don't really do them as often so I'll try but it just typically kind of turn out to be like a blown out look but we'll see <laughs> we'll see how I get on so I'm going to start by just tapping this into the crease really really nice and pigmented no kind of fallout or anything so far so what i've done is i've built that kind of sailing shade up quite strong on the lid like right, right in the crease and then i've put a little bit of mother hen which is quite a kind of orangey brownie color i've put that to kind of blend above it and i'm just going to do it on this other eye as well just to blend that out a little bit more and then i'll probably take the even lighter shade i think i'll go in with college this colour here and I'll use that to blend out the mother hen shade so I'll do all that and I'll be back with you in a second I'm actually like out of breath <laughs> I've just been on the phone to my friend for like half an hour so I'm um, out of breath from talking so much <laughs> Okay, so now that I've blended all them together, I've put the rest of my makeup on as well. I've put on the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation and I've definitely gone a bit too dark with it, <laughs> especially compared to my paleness. But it's on. We're working with what we've got. <laughs> my eyes are really creasing underneath as well. I think I need to definitely bring some more water and stuff into my routine because it is so dry. For my lips, in case you're wondering, by the way, I've put on the Lord & Berry Lip Liner in Tanned Nude. I thought I'd use something a bit different <laughs> apart from my Doll Beauty ones for a change. And then I've used the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick in Day Slayer. So it just looks like this. <laughs> so let's put some shimmer on now and let's see what it's like. So I really, really want to go in with the shade 2. Three six. I didn't realise as well, this shade is 1994, which is the year that I was born. How crazy is that? So I'm actually going to go in with my finger, like, oh my god. It is buttery soft. And I'm literally going to just kind of tap this. Oh. Oh my god. I'm just going to tap this over my lid. I was going to do like a spotlight kind of one, but I kind of want it to just be a little bit kind of messy and just oof. that's how I wanted <laughs> imagine going to a makeup artist and be like can I just have oof? and they're like yeah I got you babe <laughs> oh my god the pigmentation of this is actually next level and if you're somebody who struggles with cut creases oh, excuse me I'm here <laughs> if you struggle with cut creases a eye like this is really really simple to do because you're literally just tapping it all over the lid and the more kind of like messy it is, just the better and grungier and just oof that it looks. I have to say it again. <laughs> I am so impressed. I feel like I really want to do something with that blue sparkle, but I also don't want to ruin this because I think it looks just beautiful. You honestly wouldn't think that this is a Revolution and Friends palette. Gorgeous. I feel like I did quite a similar kind of vibe with the Monica palette from the first collection of Revolution and Friends. That's actually just restocked today. It's like Thursday, no, yes, yeah, Thursday that I'm filming this. I'm hoping I'll get it up tonight, but it's like 20 to eight now, so it might be a job for tomorrow instead. Oh my God. Can you see that? Oh, just so sexual. There's no word for it. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with the brush that we used to pack on the shade Sailing and I'm just going to kind of blend it together with that gold. I was actually going to skip this palette and I can't believe that I was actually going to skip it because it's beautiful. Using that same Spectrum brush I'm going to go in with the shade the last one which is the black in the palette and just kind of smoke out this lash line a little bit. 
Oh yeah, and just add a little bit of depth. So I haven't put any highlighter on yet because I thought we'd try one of the shades in the palette because I think it'd be really good as a highlighter. So I'm going to get my Morphe M501 brush. I've not long um, cleaned this. I don't think I've used it since I've cleaned it as well. So hopefully it'll just pick up on this shade. But I'm going to go in with the shade Wedding, which just looks, oh my God, so smooth. Just looks like this. It's got like a gold kind of colour to it. I just thought that might make Oh my god, just a beautiful highlighter. So let's see what it looks like. It might be a little bit too too light. Oh, oh it might be beautiful. <laughs> wow. That literally just blends into the skin. Oh my golly gosh. That's my my nose. I can't I, I, I know I keep saying this, but I actually can't believe I wasn't gonna buy this palette. Like I was actually going to skip this palette and be like, oh, you don't need it. Um, yes, you do. Oh, these spots on my face. Such stressful times. By the way, my Christmas intro did get emailed to me whilst I've been filming this. And it is banging. It is banging. It is going to be beautiful. I won a competition basically for a Christmas intro for my YouTube channel. So yeah, she's done it like within two days. Yeah, two, three days. I think literally two days of me winning. I sent in my stuff because she asked me other questions. I sent all the stuff back on the first day. And I'm sure today is the second day and she's already done it. Bish, bash, bosh. And it is gorgeous. I can't wait for you to see my Vlogmas intro that she's made me. If you are one of my Patreons, you'll have already seen it. Because I'd give you like a little sneaky, sneaky preview as well. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm just putting some of the Ico, yeah, Ico brow gel. Before I put my mascara on, I'm going to go in with a basically smaller version of that Spectrum brush and I'm going to pack on some of that Saline, which is a dark brown shade underneath my eyes. I'm going to use a little brush to blend it out with a little bit of um, Mother Hen. And I'm basically just doing exactly as always, exactly what I've done on the top and the bottom, just to kind of tie it all together. I was debating being brave and putting that blue underneath my eye, but I really don't want to ruin this look just in case it doesn't go because I'm so impressed with how this is looking. If it actually focuses on my face. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that highlight. That highlight is actually better than the highlight that you get in the full face palette from Revolution in Friends, like the big coffee one that I did a review on. So I'm going to finish off my under eyes, pop my mascara on and then we'll do my final thoughts. So I've popped some mascara on, I've just put in some of these Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. For my top lashes, for my bottom lashes, I've gone in with the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. I just really like it for my lower lashes. So let's do a little roundup of what I think of this Taxi Palette. So like I said at the beginning, it retails for £20 and it is part of Revolutions and Friends second drop. I think they're going to be doing a third one from what I've heard as well. So yeah, it retails £20, really, really hard kind of packaging with this kind of huge, basically like a big massive like taxi sticker, like a really 3D sticker with like the foam on the inside. I'm not going to lie. I think this might be one of my favourites just because it is so versatile and just so easy to do such a gorgeous look with but really really kind of I don't know more kind of user friendly just because it is more of a neutral palette and obviously it has got some cool tone stuff in it as well which I definitely need to start, like, try using some cool tone stuff because I always go on for like a warm kind of eye like this but I absolutely love how this eye look has turned out I think it looks absolutely beautiful the shimmers in this palette, even though there is a lot of shimmers in it and not as many mattes, I do feel like the mattes that they've put in there are definitely ones that you can work really well with, with all of the shimmers that are in here. I feel like there's not really, really one that I'm missing. I mean, it probably could do with like, maybe like a super, super light matte colour, but for me, I would just generally use like my under eye powder or something to blend out the edges on my foundation powder or something. But I do think that this is just a beautiful palette. I would really recommend it if you like Friends, you like Revolution, or if you just want a really, really nice kind of go-to beautiful palette. It gives me like, 
a little bit, and obviously this is totally like a different, totally different kettle of fish. It does give me kind of like Jamie Genevieve, Vive kind of vibes, even though it, obviously it's not like that at all. It's I think it's just the colour story of it. If I saw this in a shop, I would get excited over this palette, especially swatching it. Like these three kind of foily shades are just, oh my God, like buttery soft and just unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, like, let me know when we do another video with this. I would definitely recommend it. And I hopefully will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. I'm uploading basically daily at the moment and I'm so excited to show my Christmas intro to you as well. If you haven't already joined my Patreon, I will leave it linked down below and also the video explaining what it is and what you get out of the Patreon. And please, please, please go into my huge 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I love you so much and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye guys.